Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we want to find the zeros of a quadratic function. So the function I've picked for this one is f of x is equal to 3x squared minus x minus 1. Now those instructions, find the zeros, that means to basically take your function and set it equal to zero. Alright, so we're interested in finding the values for x such that this thing really is equal to zero. Now there's a variety of ways you can do it with a quadratic. You could complete the square, you could try and factor this, uh, but one of my favorite is of course the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and grab that. Negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right. So now that we have the quadratic formula, we identify our a, b, and c, and basically plug them in. Let's see, I have a negative, negative 1, plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. Now that can be a lot of work just plugging things in, but you want to make sure that you simplify it very, very carefully. So if you see a couple of negative signs, that turns positive. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1. Let's see, now I have 4 times 3 times a negative 1, so this is a negative 12. So I'll be subtracting a negative 12, which is the same as adding 12. All right, all over 6. So it looks like the last thing I can simplify in here is 1 plus or minus the square root of 13 all over 6. So always check your root to see if it can simplify any more. Uh, the square root of 13 doesn't have any square numbers in there, so that's as far as it goes. And basically, this represents two solutions, or two zeros, of my quadratic function. So I can say that one of my zeros is at 1 plus the square root of 13 all over 6, and the other one is at 1 minus the square root of 13 all over 6. All right, and there you go. There's both of our zeros. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.